guys, it's Katie with Begging for Balance Dog Training. I just wanted to show you how exactly the training can fit into your life. So real world dog training. Um, whenever we make food in the kitchen or eat dinner, our dogs are on place. So here's an example. Um, right now I'm about to make some egg salad and I've got two place cots. Now obviously because we're training this dog, um, the cots are in the middle of the floor, but they could easily be to the side, you know, in the corner of the living room, um, in the side of the kitchen, or we could even put our dog on place on a little rug like this in the kitchen, in the bathroom, in our bedroom, um, wherever we are in the house. So the dogs are taught place command. They hold place, and this is sort of like a mental yoga for them. You can see how relaxed my dog is. She knows place. Uh, she knows that she can lay there for up to a couple hours. And um, we'll just kind of chill out and relax. She knows it's a comfortable place for her. Um, so I'm making just making some egg salad. The dogs know I have food. They're not terrorizing me. They're not um, pestering me or up on the counters or licking the dishwasher. This is just a simple thing you can do with your dog. Uh, it, you can just do it a few minutes a day if that's all you have. You know, um, people that are busy, they work all day. Maybe their dog is crated all day. Um, and then they get home and maybe a good thing to do is like take your dog for a walk right away. You get home, you know, get comfortable first, take a few minutes, then um, take your dog for a walk. 30 minutes, 45 minutes, whatever you can do um, will really help their kind of their state of mind. You know, they need to get out just as much as we do. They don't like to be cooped up in a house all the time and never see the outside. Um, so you can take your dog for a walk, then come inside, put your dog on place. Um, you know, if maybe you need to take a shower, you could put your dog in place in the bathroom. If you just want to relax in your bedroom, you can put them on place in there. Or when your dog gets more advanced, you can just put them on place maybe in the living room and you'll be able to go into the bathroom, the bedroom and leave for, you know, a few minutes, 30 minutes and your dog will stay on place. But that, I wouldn't do that until they're really proofed and they know, um, you know, what is expected of them. Now, let's say you're gonna make dinner, make dinner while the dog's on place. Then when it's time to eat, the dog should hold place. This is all mental exercise for the dog, but it's also, it's training and it builds a relationship with your dog. So if you feel bad that you've been gone all day at work, just recalling your dog from place to place throughout the house, they feel like they're doing something with you, that they're, you know, there's a connection. Then maybe, um, you know, get some outdoor time. If the dog's e-collar trained, Maybe you could take it out back after dinner and throw the ball for a while or go to the park and do some off-leash time. Um, the dog will really appreciate that time that you spend with them more than cuddling or spoiling or just giving them a biscuit because you feel bad that you've been gone all day. You know, everybody, it's normal to feel like you wanna do more for your dog. So this is a way that you can do more for your dog and also have some peace and calm and quiet in your home and then go outside and do lots of fun stuff outside with your dog and spend lots of outdoor time on the weekends. So I hope this helps a little bit, you know, just seeing real world, uh, you know, what the dog should be doing while you're eating, making food, doing homework with your kids, whatever it is, your dog can do this and just stay relaxed. I hope that helps guys.